All right. I've got battery. Blah, blah, blah. I guess I need to go back to where the dogs were now. I have so much shotgun ammo for dealing with, with dog. Uh, good news. I don't know what the metals and stuff are for. I don't know. I have a healing on me. Yeah. I mean, if the thing that I need is the battery to proceed, then I probably don't need other stuff, right? I don't know. That logic follows for me. So I'm hoping that's the case. <laughs> I'm hoping that I just need the battery for whatever comes next. And they'll give me access to, like, storage before I get past that point or something. Uh, I gotta remember where I want to go. Mm. It's hard to remember between sessions which areas are clear. Whatever, I just saved. It's fine. Let's go for it. <clears throat> I, I don't want to go upstairs because the upstairs area with the one zombie that was going in circles forever, instead of being a zombie going in circles forever, is now... Uh, two hunters, which is real bad. It's pretty fucking bad. Uh. Yeah, the, there was the... There was the elevator a while back that had some kind of... It had the... It lacked a power source. And the entire mansion is green right now, except for the main hall. And the main hall... You know, let's just try this already, because I haven't done this yet. I think I know what happens, though. Oh, shit! Yep. Shit. Did that make a monkey? That made a monkey noise, didn't it? Not gonna lie, uh, thought I was gonna die. <laughs> not, not, not that like one dog is so dangerous that it was gonna defeat me. Uh, I mean, I thought it was going to definitely be like you die, like mandatory. I didn't think. <laughs> I totally thought that opening the front door would kill you instantly. I thought that was the gimmick here. Okay, just so we're. Are there any hunters out here? I've never checked, have I? But yeah, just so we're clear, that's... That's the amazing thing. That's the ex explanation for why we can't leave this mansion. Like, my crew... It, like, my squad is not on special orders to get anything from here. Or, like, save someone or retrieve an item from here. Wesker definitely has an ulterior motive. Uh, but... Me, Barry, Chris... Or at least me and Barry. Or me and Chris. I don't know about Barry, because Barry's being manipulated. But, uh, we did, our, our missions definitely was just to investigate. And then we found out, oh shit, everyone's dead. Run! Really? Really? I mean, at this point, I might as well just quit <laughs> and load my save, I guess. Damn it, why do I do that? Oh, it's because video games for, like, decades, forever, basically, where I'll let go new game, then load game, then options. But this game goes load game, then new game. And so I keep reflexively going down to the second option when I see that it's highlighting the first one before I even read them. All right, yeah, I figure I might as well just reset back to here if... I need to go back, anyway. Alright, so we'll get the metal object. It's not that metal object though, is it? It's the one that I left in the other area. Ah. Fine. But even, even now when the game is, has extra escalated and things have gotten even crazier in here, the outside is still definitely just like, Oh no! Three dogs! What'll we do? 
And I'm like, I could... I have a grenade launcher. <laughs> I have a grenade launcher and they are dogs. It's fine. I can handle it. <laughs> if we really need to, I can handle it. I have a grenade launcher and that revolver and this shotgun. Barry has his bullshit mega gun. Chris is a marksman. We're fine. We can leave. We can go back to Raccoon City. We can call for reinforcements. Get the Coast Guard in here. Wipe these dudes out. Something. Just something. But <laughs> they keep sticking around and it's freaking me out. Because like even the script is sometimes aware of it. Because like there was that moment with Wesker where Jill's like... Uh, Jill and, I don't know if it was Jill or Wesker. I forgot who said it. But somebody said that like our priority has to be getting out of here. And then they're like... Then Wesker immediately after saying that, he says, Go deeper into the mansion. There's still some doors that haven't been unlocked. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Those aren't... Like, normally when you say something right after another thing, usually it, the, the second thing supports the first thing, like the argument you had made. Like, we have to do this. Go do that. Like, 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 like the idea would be that the thing you said would be something that would support the idea of doing whatever you just said had to be done. Like, here's our overall goal. Here's the step you will take towards that overall goal. But the two are totally divergent. He's like, we need to leave. Go deeper into the mansion and open more doors for some reason. I'm like, those do not complement each other as concepts. <laughs> you can't just... I, like, this this game did not fully recover from whatever the first draft of the... Because, like, this, the first script and lines are supposed to be really cheesy and non nonsensical and crazy and stuff. But, like, the second version's not necessarily a recovery. There we go. Though I'm not, I'm not used to Resident Evil necessarily making sense. Revelations and Revelations 2 were bonkers. 6 was asinine and stupid. And uh, 7 is a fun grindhouse thing that only marginally sometimes makes sense. But often there's still moments where you're like, uh, I don't know what to think about that. I'm not gonna like just start spoiling games at random right now. But that's all I'm gonna say. I'm pretty sure it's this one. So at one point I was mistaken because I was thinking that I, uh, I was I was thinking. Uh, if you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Shit, it's broken. We need to get a flare, probably. Hey, how about you fire your grenade launcher directly in the air? An explosion in midair over the mansion would probably get his attention. Also, th thanks, Brad. That's the premise of this thing, isn't it? Isn't the premise that Brad stranded us by uh, abandoning us in the helicopter? Because bad, you know... Oh no, danger! So so Brad flew away. I think that's basically the premise of why we're stuck here. Although, we're still just in a forest. Like, we could just leave. It's fine. Tell me I'm not poisoned. Not poisoned yet! Not poison. Oh god. Do not poison me. Do not poison me, please. Okay. Ha. Uh. If I go fast enough, I might even be able to get away with not fighting these dogs, but we'll see. I don't know if I'll be able to get the drop on them or not. Where am I? There's like a still a waterfall blocking me from getting somewhere, which is hilarious. It's a waterfall, dude. Jill, come on. You're an adult. You've already gotten wet. It with sharks. You'll survive a waterfall. Wait, it's going up. This isn't just going back to earlier, is it? What? What? No, take me somewhere new. Can't... Are you dead? You made the monkey noise. I think you're dead. What? Wait. <laughs> Shit. Mm. 
Okay, let's check all the maps for like a red spot or like an area I haven't been yet. Like this is all the mansion. It's completely it's, the only red spot is the spot where I just put the thi the thing to open the door. There's that thing. Like, there's something over there that I don't have access to. But I don't know how to get to it. The residence is, I believe, all filled in. Shit. <laughs> uh... I didn't think this would just take me upstairs. I thought it would take me to, like, some new place. <clears throat> hmm. Oh. Nailed it. Alright, the dogs are gone. At least I can look around. It's a raging waterfall. Looks like there's something beyond it. Yeah, you don't- you don't- you think? I get it. Oh no, I have to go back, don't I? Shit. Because now I remember when sh when when we changed the water level, they had that comment that's like, "You hear a waterfall in the distance." So the idea is that if I change the water level then the waterfall is not there. But just to make this more annoying... Yeah, right. I need to go to an item box. That one's technically an option, but I don't know if it's safe. Not only could they have spawned another douchey zombie in like one of those... spots. But, uh... Like, there could be a zombie around somewhere. Around there. Uh... Where's the door? Here we are. There could be a surprise zombie in one of those camera cuts, and also the big bad thing that attacked me was, was there, so I'd rather not go there again. So I think we're just gonna go right back to where we started this episode. I was tempted to just give up and load my save again, but I think that, uh... the time it would take to... Reacquire the metal and also go, go all the way around to put the battery where it is. I think that would take more time Ah, the crank, right it's Too bad she couldn't just leave the crank there or like Physically affix it to that location. You know what I mean? Oh, wait, that inbox is right here and I killed all the bad things around here, didn't I? Oh wait, is that the wrong door? Shit, this is the... emblem one. Yeah, with the open window. Okay, so I don't need to go all the way back to where I was a moment ago, because I can take this way. Specifically because, thank god, Barry fixed this one door, which... I question Barry's priorities a little bit, but, uh... It's helping me right now, for sure. <laughs> I killed everything in this room, so we should be safe. There better be another location in this game where this crank gets used. There has to be that, just to justify this. I will be annoyed if I beat this game and the crank is never used again. Because if it's never used again, then I'm, I'll be like, well then why couldn't she just add the crank to that spot when she got there? Like, I, the crank should just attach itself to that location permanently, like a... Like the emblems and various other items, and then I could just use that crank instead of taking it with me everywhere. 
Okay, the fact that they let me take it, they, that they have me take it everywhere with me, must mean that it has a use somewhere besides this one location. Or I will be disappointed. Because I will have lost five, maybe even ten minutes to that design decision. And that just can't stand. Brad? <laughs> but yeah, with this cranked, that means the water level can be up without blocking me because now I have the elevator set up. We should be good. There we go. Lefty Lucy. The sound of a waterfall seems to have stopped. Yeah. That's absolutely why the waterfall thing happened. That's one upside of me having replayed that entire chunk of the game. Because I replayed the entire mansion a second time basically is that I at least remember doing it helped me remember the waterfall thing a little more wait that was after my save though I don't remember why I, I feel like I did have to do the waterfall thing multiple times I probably just died or something that was probably during an episode I probably died hey there I'm sure oh yeah I'm sure this is safe can't wait are we reloaded? Cool. Oh yeah, that looks really appealing. Thanks. Yeah, let's just hop on in, Jill. Let's just, let's just descend into the un past the waterfall death trap. Oh, typewriter and item box. So this is an HQ. It's a safe, it's a safe location. As I kind of hoped they'd give me- Oh, ink ribbons. <clears throat> Alright, well, with how many ink ribbons they're giving me, I might have been able to get away with not, uh... I might have been able to get, to get away with not replaying that chunk that I replayed. But I had no way- I, I had no way of knowing how many ink ribbons were gonna suddenly show up. Also, I had no way of knowing where to get them. <laughs> but now I have, like, six more again. I imagine that might be enough to beat the game. Depends on how late we are. Every time I get to a massively different location, I think, oh, okay, this is it. Here comes the ending. <laughs> and I'm not often correct. Mm, should I try to use the handgun? Because I kind of want to use up all my ammo types, but I don't know which stuff, how valid it's going to be half the time. There's apparently going to be more items around here. There's a hexagonal hole here. Ah, that's octagonal. That's octagonal. The crank wasn't a square-shaped hole, I think, but I'm still gonna try it. Sure, let's just try everything. Oopsie. I don't think any of these are the right items, though. It's not necessary to use this. 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 Have I already examined these? Because sometimes it reveals something. Oh, right, it just says that it's inside the books. I think I examined the disc, too. Yeah, it does that. It's for rebooting a system of some sort. Must sort resources carefully. 
we wouldn't want any of them to get out of order. Would we? I have a fair number of things. It's a little tempting to save just because of the save the change of location, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna save when nothing's really happened all that much. Okay, hang on a second. What? I th think that wall opens. There's a crack in the wall here. Right. Yeah, right, right next to my character. Up to the left of my character, there's a vertical crack down the wall. I think that wall's gonna open or something. I don't know. It says there's an item around here. Oh, right. Because there was, I could see a uh, green herb across that chasm. So that must be the item. I forgot to equip my weapon. So if I get attacked immediately, I'm going to be in a bad spot. And I do, oh, no atoms here, just potential death. I don't know what Jill is expecting right now, but here we go. Hmm. A room where you could comfortably go in circles if you're being followed. Really? We're still doing handgun ammo. I feel like if, when, once enemies start being able to pursue you pretty well, uh, handgun gets becomes a scary weapon to use. Because I expect things to be able to catch me and kill me before I can actually adequately pump enough shots into them. Another hit? Okay. Maybe I should at least carry the pistol around. That, nope, that's not all that's here. I don't know. Like, regular zombies take a while to kill with a handgun. And they're starting to give them, send faster and even more dangerous things after me. So I don't really trust that weapon. Hmm. What is down here? The elevator's power source. Okay, yeah, sure. The elevator's power source is like a Mayan calendar thing. Of course. No, oh, why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it just have a weird and insane token on the end? It appears to be some sort of key to start the power supply. Symbols are carved on it in its side. It looks like one, three, two, four. Or I guess more specifically four, two, three, one. Which is out of order and curious. Maybe you need to get more pieces to put the whole thing together. And then come back here and put the finished thing in. Okay, now we're green. How curious. What could be over here? Is it my death? Come and get me, death. Kill me now. I'm ready. Is that you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive. Stop. Are you with anybody, Jill? No, but why? <sighs> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. Enrico! <sighs> Traitor? Who? Where is your train? Hey, Crank. Where is your training, Jill? What is wrong with you? Whoever did this is definitely a professional. I want the Crank, not him. Although he has a gun, too. Can I have that? He's holding something. Do -do -do -do. It's a crank. Yeah, it's a crank with the hexagonal end. Can I have his gun? Enrico is dead. What could he have known? He knew who the traitor was, probably. Uh, 
Where is your training? You didn't even whip around fast enough to even look at who shot him. Also, you didn't immediately draw a weapon and maybe even pursue who did it. Like, you just stood there. In fact, you almost immediately stopped caring about this person who fired a weapon past your head and murdered one of your coworkers. Like, she's like so casual about this and uh, like not at all distressed. And she didn't even she didn't even draw a weapon or to defend herself, like to point it in that direction in, in case they were, were still there or if they come back. She just like sat there. It was weird. Is there like a vertical? Can you guys see that? Is there like a vertical crack in the wall right here? I think there is. Like it might be an opening in the texture. Weird. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm really baffled by her. <laughs> Out. Oh boy, that just fucking showed up. I'm so confused by her behavior in that cutscene. All right, and also there's hunters here. So like the <clears throat> does the traitor just somebody who the hunters ignore? How do they pass each other in the hallway? Also, yeah, I know who the fucking traitor is, but I'm trying not to say it out loud. Although I might have already kind of said it earlier, I'm not sure. I think everyone knows who the traitor is because they're a prominent villain in the movies and games. Ah! Ah! No. Shit. Two at once in a dead end hallway. Shit. All right. Guess I'll end the episode there because I'm gonna have to replay that chunk of the game. <laughs> uh, up to where I was. All right. <laughs>